I got you guys with um, Vignette 2 uh, from the uh, 1998 uh, five vignette film, uh, The Things We Go Through. And uh, this vignette was called The Believers. I mean, we dare take on the uh, heavy subject of uh, some of the confusions in religion. And uh, I, I sort of came up with that because everywhere you went on campus, man, I mean, there were ciphers over here and you'd just be walking and go to class and there'd be a group of people talking. And man, they'd be dropping all types of signs from the Bible, man, from 5% Nation, from, you know, Al-Islam. I mean, it was just so many things. You had all types of, um, you know, alternative uh, religious paths out there. Some cats were just on uh, righteousness, but weren't really adhering to any type of Abrahamic faith. It was just a big circles of, uh, and I would listen and um, be a lot of things that um, I agree with and some things I thought was far-fetched for sure. Being so, you know, my path is um, Abrahamic from um, basically Torah, Gospel, and our Quran. So anything from there, well, I'm, I'm not closed-minded, but I recognize how what the people were saying was from the Abrahamic scripture, but they just didn't know. You know, everybody loves rivalry, man. So, you know, and plus we men are very opinionated. So that's why I try to talk from uh, from scripture only, not from uh, my personal opinion. You know, when I'm talking about the creator, I got to be very careful with that. So anyway, let's go into um, the vignette we call the believers with some really heavy information being dropped in it. Um, and bear in mind at the time, the year 2000 wasn't here. We were two years from that. So people described it as the new millennium. That's how we were talking about it then. And um, uh, check it out. Yeah. Oh, what's up, man? Take it to Arabic, man. Oh, okay. Salam, brother. Peace, peace. Hey, yo, at least this my man, Mike. Mike, this man, you're going to leave. Hey, my brother, I'm going to leave. Wow, man, y'all just said the same exact thing, except my man Knowledge said it in English, and you said it in Arabic. Man, what's your ease and why we swimming? Yeah, that was why we all swimming in the same body water. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, what you Muslim or something? No, I thought I am. Well, bro, I go to Marvel State, and, you know, I come in, you know, counting with a, the Muslims, like, every day. Like, my man, now the G5%, and, you know, you got some brothers that are, that's in the nation of Islam. Which which one are you? I'm in the one, brother. Of course, you and I are both the same one. No disrespect, brother, my legal name, but I'm a Christian, man. The word Muslim is simply Arabic or Semitic, or one who submits to the will of God. And you're a Christian. But when I read of the gospel, you no doubt submitted to God's will, brother. I'm not getting offended. I mean, but on campus, on campus, we all get about religion all the time. I mean, my Muslim friends say don't eat pork, don't get high, don't fornicate. But yet I got some of them that's doing all that and eating pepperonis on the pizza. Stay where you come from, brother Mike. But you have to understand that all the time you're going to instantly give those things up. I mean, I used to eat swine back in the day myself. You know what I'm saying? That's why each and every one of us is given a lifespan so we can slowly become the pure beings that we once were. I think it's a shame that you waste so much time arguing over things that don't even matter, as opposed to just sticking to whatever doctrine you believe in and following to the utmost of your capability. You know what I'm saying? Now, go on, go on. Yeah, especially things like which religion is the right way or is a lot of God. I mean, I'm just tired of all of it, man. It's just bothering my mind. Speak that we have it right now, which is another filthy trick that Satan's put in our path so that people can stay at odds with one another, man. You see, the word Allah is an Arabic word meaning the creator. The prefix AL meaning the in English, and La meaning God. Man, it doesn't matter what language you're praying in, whether it be French, Spanish, or English, man. We're all praying to the same creator, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel what you're saying because it's like. Satan got the whole world going crazy. I mean, we're so busy criticizing each other that we don't even know what we're supposed to be doing in the first place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of it's even deeper than that because um, I've seen brothers that are so entrenched in their faith, but like, they feel so right about you know, themselves or whatever. I've seen brothers almost come to blows about religion. True. You know what I'm saying? So it's something deep and it's something that you have to feel for yourself. True. Tell me, brothers, Satan's been hard at work trying to divide the religion. Yes, yeah, that's right. The Bible comes. The Bible comes. You have to remember that Africa was a land where Christ dwelt during the beginning phases of Christianity. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, you are. See, at the beginning, Africa only consisted of Upper Egypt, Lower Egypt, and Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. See, when Islam was first introduced by the Prophet Muhammad, the people over there never hated Islam, man. Mm -hmm. This caused the Prophet to send a few, his few devoted converts of Islam to, to Ethiopia. Yeah, to the Ethiopia, you know what I'm saying? To Ethiopia, where the land was controlled by a true Christian king. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a king that was in total opposite of religion. That's right, he was a Christian, of course. Yeah, I mean, that's why people always have a problem with the picture of Jesus as, you know, being a white man. I know I do. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. Because around the time Christ walked the earth, there was no white man walking around teaching no African men. You know what I'm saying? True. As a matter of fact, we had not even gone over to Europe yet to teach them all mathematics and all science. Yeah. Well, you know, that's wild because we only learn the same stuff that we taught Greeks over in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? But they want they want us to believe that Plato and Socrates, you know, were the founding fathers of knowledge as we know it today. That's right. And here, over 2,000 years before the golden age of Greece, Imhotep designed the fluted column. Small wonder that the Greeks worshipped Imhotep as a god. In Islamic religion, the first thing a person needs to do is kill their ego, man. Mm -hmm. See, ego is the main reason why we have countless wars and lives being put in place of the truth. That's right. Don't make any sense. That's right. And that's one of the reasons why there's nothing happening to bring Egyptian libraries. And the people of Egypt today are considered Arabs. But look at the hieroglyphs, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of those people in there are darker than you and I. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Egypt by the lost ones, the great man of that one is gone. Lost forever. <laughs> but we got to remember. But, you know, that happens as well as everywhere else. It was a class system. For sure. You know those Europeans didn't come over and just take our people from the motherland, you know what I'm saying? Our ancestors were extendable. So fortunate, but it happened. So what you telling me? They just traded us like we were some property or something? Yeah. Uh, you didn't know that? You know, the Europeans came over to Africa, man, they had spices and ornaments, and even their own white spindles in exchange for African slaves, true that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we were slaves. See, there was slavery in Africa, but it wasn't as hard as it was in America. Mm -hmm. You gotta think about it. You don't think the pharaohs while they're building the pyramid. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, it's a class system. You have the king, his family, council, and everybody else is beneath the king. Mm -hmm. So they were spindles. But that's not really the main part of our conversation here. I mean, you always allow Satan to run off laughing after he started all the trouble. You know, you always saying it's the Jews' fault, the white man's fault, the Muslims' fault, the Christians' fault. You know, everyone's taking a beat for Satan himself. He's got to stop. Got to stop now. So, I mean, fellas, tell me, give me some insight on something. I mean, I'm lost. How are we supposed to fight Satan? Of course, you brother Mike. The devil's inside each and every one of us. We're spreading our heads at all times, man. Your war, man, is called the war itself. You gotta bring that sign. We got sign of that devil inside our head. James will stand still. But you know what, man? I'm glad that you're asking these questions. Or really, everybody asks questions. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad to find this out because um, there's a lot of brothers out there that's here for my like weekend. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers. You know what I'm saying? It's the, a war itself, a mission itself. So, you know what I'm saying? You just have to find out what fits you. Because uh, you know I'm telling you, man, the millennials going to be something, yo. Murder is going to be a big thing. The millennials going to be something, man. Um, we were. I hope you enjoyed that. You know, we were just trying to scratch the surface on some of the most important, um, you know, disagreements and misunderstandings of, um, you know, probably the crux of uh, what's sort of the main divider between uh, the believers, you know, because when you start talking about believers, you're only talking about the uh, children of Abraham, man. I and mean, we got all these different misconceptions and all these uh, ideals, but it's just, you know, the children of uh, Isaac and Ishmael. That's it. 